Have you ever compiled a TF2 map and maybe the props don't look right? or your reflections are kind of messed up? Well, I'm gonna teach you how to fix that. First things first, I'm gonna teach you how to do a final compile properly. The stock final compile options for TF2 are not identical to what Valve uses, which is kind of bizarre. First up, open Hammer or Hammer++, it's whatever you use. Open whatever map you're gonna use. For this example, I am going to use just this player direction port of Harvest. Hit F9 or go to File, Run Map. If you're not on expert mode, uh, under the run map dialog, hit expert. Under configurations, uh, go to LDR plus HDR full compile dash final. Uh, under here, you're going to see a list of compile run commands. Go to the light exe dash both dash final or under all of this stuff. This is a list of command line arguments that basically tell uh, VRAD which is the program that calculates the lighting, what to do with said lighting. So what you're going to want to do here after dash final is tell it to use static prop polys, texture shadows, and static prop lighting. Those are the three options that are missing from the default compile process. If you use these, models will look a lot better. Here is a screenshot of before and after. Massive difference. And if you have a custom rad file, you can specify that with dash lights and then just the name of the rad file, but that's you know, only if you have that. You can just leave that alone if you don't. And then you can just hit go and it will remember that. So it'll start compiling your map. All right, map compile is done. So I hit any key, I minimize hammer. Now, if your map doesn't have custom assets at this point, you can start TF2. But if it does, you probably want to pack them into the map. Go ahead and start up compile pal. If you have it, it's awesome. If you don't have it, I highly recommend it. Link in the description, choose Team Fortress 2. If you don't have a preset for packing, just like I do here, uh, you can go ahead and find a preset that has packing in it. Uncheck literally everything except for pack, and then hit compile, as long as you have your VMF for your map selected. It should only run a pack, which essentially just finds every custom asset that you used in the map, and then packs all of that into your map's PSP file. And then, yeah, that's essentially all that that does. And now at this point, we will start TF2. Now that we're in Team Fortress 2, we're gonna build cube maps. To start, we're gonna run Matt Specular 0, which turns off reflections. And now we're gonna open the map, which in this case was PD Harvest Event Dev. But in your case, it's just the file name of whatever the map that you just compiled was. So at this point, it's important to take note of what Matt HDR level is set to. If it's set to one or two, that means you're going to be compiling cube maps for HDR. If it's set to zero, that means you're going to be compiling cube maps for no HDR. So at this point, we're going to run build cube maps. I'm going to be slowing this down so it doesn't like kill your eyes. Um, if it's like flashing when it's building cube maps, definitely building cube maps for HDR. We need to build cube maps for HDR and LDR just so that reflections work for both. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and disconnect. Again, we're going to check map HDR level. Sorry, mat HDR level. Uh, if it's set to one or two, again, we need to set it to zero. If it's set to zero, we need to set it to two. Uh, and then we are going to run map and then the name of the map again. Once the map loads, we just run build cube maps again. This time it won't be flashing because it's not building for HDR. If you don't need to build a nav mesh, which means your map can't run bots or won't be using bots, that's fine, you can ignore it. But if your map will be using bots, uh, SV cheats one nav underscore generate. Uh, you can let that run. It'll probably take a while depending on the size of the map, the walkable surfaces it has. Actually, the only thing that matters is walkable surfaces, and then the map will reload. But if you just hold the escape key on this menu, it'll try to escape back to the main menu as soon as it can. We're back at the main menu, so I'm gonna turn SV cheats off. And now I'm going to go back to Compile Pal and run that pack again. And now it's got that nav file packed into the map. So we have in the maps folder, there should be the map that we just ran. Yep, PD Harvest Event Dev. If we open it with GCFscape, we can see that the nav mesh packed into it. And if we go to Materials Maps, 
PD Harvest Event Dev. We can see all of these textures in here. These are the cube maps that we just built. So we can see that those are definitely in there. Definitely make sure to close that if you have it open. Now I'm going to teach you how to run BSP zip compression on the map, which can make the file size shrink drastically. Here we go. Hold left shift and right click in this folder. Open in terminal or open PowerShell window here if you're not on Windows 11. Either one works. Uh, I recommend open PowerShell window here. Run a cd dot dot slash dot dot slash cd bin dot slash bsp zip dot exe dash repack dash compress dot dot slash tf slash maps slash then the name of your map which in this case again is pd harvest event dev and hit enter it will begin compressing the map and as you can see, the map went from 30.5 megabytes to 10.9 megabytes. So that is a pretty drastic reduction. Now let's see how the map fares in game. So we got to flush our cache just to make sure everything loads properly. So let's go. Matt HDR level 2, because that's what we had before. Matt specular 1, because again, that's what we had before. That'll make everything reload again, so it'll probably take a second. Map item test. We have to load another map. All right, once this item test map loads, we can change level to PD Harvest Event Dev. And in theory, once it loads, we should be all set. Yep, there it is, it started up. And it appears the map is working. I am spawned in, lighting looks all right, props look good. I can see that the props have proper shadows. And everything is looking all right. So, yeah, that is how you do a final compile on a map. The cube maps are definitely working. You can see the reflections of the lights from above. And, yeah, that's how you get it done. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to leave them in the comments. And I hope you have a good one. Peace.